A huge thank you to patron Kay Lehman for suggesting today's video topic. If you want to suggest a topic for next Wednesday's Name Explained video, all you have to do is support Name Explain on Patreon for $1 a month. Find out more by visiting patreon.com forward slash Name Explain, which will be linked down below. Anyway, the Romance languages are a family of languages which all derive from Latin. Due to this, they all have many things in common with one another in regards to how their words are spoken and written. They are obviously not identical. Each have their own rules and quirks which make them unique. Otherwise, you know, they wouldn't be different languages. One of these unique quirks that makes them different relates to the Romance language of Spanish, and it's aversion to one particular letter. When you start comparing the words of Romance languages with one another, there's something you will notice, and that's that many words that start the letter F in other Romance languages like French, Italian and Portuguese, instead start the letter H in Spanish. Take the English word of do in example, as in to do something. In French, Italian and Portuguese it is faire, fale and fazer respectively, while in Spanish it is hacer, or the word of sling, which in French is flonde, Italian fionda and Portuguese fonda. Spanish however goes instead with honda. Then there's also their words for fig, which is higo in Spanish, but fig Fico and Figo, once again in French, Italian and Portuguese. These are just three examples of this taking place, but there are a ton more out there you can check out for yourself. Yet still, Spanish is not completely devoid of Fs. Spanish words like Fuego, Filma and Foto all start with the letter and each mean fire, signature and photo. It is undoubtedly pretty strange and a tad odd that in so many cases, Spanish words start with an H, while its Romance language siblings, as well as its parent language of Latin, choose to start their words with these things with an F. This weird HF split between Spanish and the other Romance tongues seems to all come down to the weird history between the Spanish language and the letter F, or more specifically, the sound the letter F makes, the F sound. Over the course of the existence of Spanish, the F sound has come and gone from the language. Spanish ultimately started life as a form of Latin spoken on the Iberian Peninsula when the Romans ruled this land. Yet as Rome died, Latin was no longer bound to the rules and regulations of this higher power. And on top of this, as other people started to call the land their home too, their languages influenced the Latin spoken here. This led to the Latin spoken on the Iberian Peninsula changing into something known as Vulgar Latin. This is a catch-all term for the corrupted versions of Latin that appeared all across the empire, like Gaul had its own version of Vulgar Latin which go on to become the modern French language in example. One of the kinds of Vulgar Latin spoken on the Iberian Peninsula would shift in the early 9th century to modern Spanish's forebear language, which we now simply dub Old Spanish. The interesting thing about Old Spanish in regards to this video is the fact that many of the language's words actually did start with Fs, while their modern counterparts don't. Like the modern Spanish word for talk is habla, while in Old Spanish this was fabla. Likewise, the modern Spanish word Julian, meaning soot, was folian in Old Spanish. So, Spanish did once use a lot more Fs than they do now. This is because Old Spanish was much closer to Vulgar Latin and Latin as a whole, which did feature more Fs at the start of words. Yet, while we know that these Old Spanish words started with an F, how that F was actually pronounced is debated. Theories range from it being pronounced how we pronounce the letter today, to it sounding more like the modern H sound, huh, to it possibly making a sound which is correctly referred to as a voiceless bilabial affricate, which I can best describe as making an airy P-like sound, like a P sort of sound. It's represented in writing with this symbol, and trust me, this video could have been filled with more big confusing words like this. I've done my best to avoid them, but we'll mention a couple more down the line. The reason we don't truly know what the F sound made in Old Spanish is simply down to the fact that the spoken word is nowhere near as easy to record and preserve as the written word is. Our ability to record sound only goes back to the 19th century or so, while we have written records dating back thousands of years. By the time sound recording devices were invented, Old Spanish had fully formed into modern Spanish. Our lack of preservation of the spoken word is one of the biggest challenges when it comes to studying the history of language. If words uttered from mouths could be preserved like dinosaur bones or Roman coins, then we would know so much more about how our ancestors really talked. I mean, we could just build a time machine, but if TV has taught me anything, it's that everyone in the past just had British accents and spoke English. What we know, however, thanks to the preservation of Old Spanish documents, is that the letter F was present in Old Spanish, regardless of what it actually sounded like. The letter and sound, however, started 
started to disappear from Old Spanish in the late 19th century and into the 10th century. Uh, we have documents from the mid 9th century from the historical region of Castile in Spain, recording the Latin term of Forticus as Otico. In this example, not only do we see the Latin word sounding more Spanish, but the F removed from the word entirely. Now, we aren't exactly sure why Spanish decided to drop the F from their words around this time, but we do have a leading popular theory. That being the idea that Spanish in its infancy was heavily inspired by another language spoken on the Iberian Peninsula at the time and is still spoken there today, Basque. I've said this before and I'm sure I'll say it again in the future. Basque is a wild language. It is supremely old, not related to any other language on the planet, and is notoriously complex to learn. Basque can be found in the Basque country in the north of the peninsula and is now within the borders of modern Spain. In the same way Old Spanish became Modern Spanish, the Basque spoken in the past was different to its modern form and is now known as Old Basque. Old Basque did not feature an F sound in any way, though seemingly the modern language does. I imagine mainly for loan words from other languages. Why didn't Basque use an F sound? Who knows? Basque is a ridiculous language which bucks the trends of most other tongues. We have a whole video about it. But as Old Basque didn't have an F sound as it was being spoken while Old Spanish was still formulating, it is theorized that Basque influenced Spanish's development enough for them to remove the F from their words that Latin had placed in them. And I need to stress, this is just a theory. I've been down an internet rabbit hole while researching this video, and I can't really find a concrete answer amongst the conflicting information for all of this. So I'm just putting together all the info I could find into some form of coherent video. If we are to believe this theory, however, it explains to us why Spanish once lost its F sound. And the more fancy name for a language losing a sound is debuccalization. This meant that by the early 10th century, the Spanish written language was lacking an F. But the shift from no F to replacing with an H didn't happen at the same time. For some time, words that once started with an F just lacked a new starting letter entirely. And in some cases, the F actually did stick around, and nobody just pronounced it. This is how most modern silent letters came into being. They tend to be remnants of a language's past. As the 10th century waned on, however, H's started to replace F's in Spanish. Remember that example of Forticus being spelt as Otico in the mid 9th century? Well, by the early 10th century, we have evidence of it being written as Hotico. Things really picked up for H in Spanish in the 16th century. It was around this time that Old Spanish morphed into Modern Spanish. And at this time the Renaissance was in full swing across Europe and all things Roman were back in vogue. This included the language of Rome too, Latin. During the Renaissance, Latin was revitalized and adapted to fit their contemporary needs. This form of Latin that was popular during the Renaissance is fittingly known as Renaissance Latin. Renaissance Latin made its way into the Spanish language, forming many new words in the language. Many of these words feature an F at the start because they came from Latin, which uses F at the start with no issue. So thanks to this, Spanish had a selection of words that now started with an F and made a definitive F sound. But as mentioned, Spanish already had a plethora of words that started with an F sound from before this Renaissance Latin influence. And while these words had Fs, they weren't actually pronounced. Having these two kinds of words starting with F, those from Old Spanish that weren't pronounced, and those from Renaissance Latin that were pronounced, made things all kinds of confusing. People wouldn't know if the F at the start of the word should be said or not. So to combat this issue, those words that started with an F but made no sound from Old Spanish started being spelt with an H a lot more. We saw this happening earlier, but it was in the 16th century where this seemingly ramped up in production. But why was it H that got chosen to replace F? Well, that's simply because the two letters make a very similar sound to one another. The sound F traditionally makes is technically known as a fricative, meaning it is made by squeezing air for a small gap in your mouth. The usual H sound, however, has the fancy name of a voiceless glottal fricative, which is like a normal fricative, but requires even less movement in your mouth. The sound H makes is a really unique one. In my estimations, it's the sound in language that is least like a sound. It's basically just a heavy breath. Like if you take a quick audible breath out from your mouth, you will make something akin to the H sound. This is why H is so often dropped in other languages and accents. A lot of accents in England often drop H's, especially if they're at the start of a word. Imagine Hagrid saying Harry and you get the idea. 
but swapping Fs with Hs allowed readers of Spanish to understand more easily how a word was meant to be pronounced. A great example is with the Spanish fondo, meaning background, and hondo, meaning deep. Before this change, they would have both started with an F, and things would have been pretty confusing. If we followed this train of thought though, it explains to us why many words that once started with an F in Spanish, and still do in some other Romance languages, now start with an H, while other words in Spanish do still feature an F. Those ones start with an F are most likely words borrowed from Renaissance Latin in the 16th century. It was at this point I was going to use the Spanish word for fire, fuego, as an example, but apparently fuego was the Spanish word for fire even during the time of Old Spanish, meaning the F stuck around even when Basque was supposedly influencing it. The F sound may have been dropped in the past, but somehow it stuck around to today, and it wasn't turned into an H at any point, which I guess kind of just destroys everything I've laid out in this video. Now, if you couldn't guess, this video has been super confusing to make mainly due to the fact that for many of these words we're not entirely sure how they were said in the first place because we just don't have evidence of the spoken word in the past like some of the best info i could find for this video is coming from quora posts reddit threads and even a dash of wikipedia in its sources all we can say for sure is thanks to our ability to track the written language is that many words in spanish once started with an f but now begin with an h my brain is absolutely frazzled after this one team so much like spanish i'm getting the f out of here Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon, so a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash Name Explained or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. Thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All of that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.